so Kenta asked that I do more uh, vlogging because uh, he wants to see the, the city and stuff, stuff that I'm super used to, but that uh, other people might not do. So uh, here I am, making my best okay. at it. I got up yesterday at 7 a.m. in um, California. Hopefully it slows down a little bit, you will talk to him for a minute. And then I gotta go to camera doctor to pick up my Yashika film camera. It's been acting up. And then I've got the Amtrak train home at 11.20. And I'll get home at 1, at which time I will have been up for like, I don't know, 30 hours. I'm gonna have to go to sleep. Just got to Times Square. Just back there. Don't go that way. That's bad. That's bad times. You don't want to be there. Uh, but I'm just two blocks from the camera repair shop, and so I'm gonna pick up my old camera. And uh, I don't know where I'm gonna put it because my bags are totally stuffed to the max. Thanks to uh, overpacking and buying too much coffee in Seattle. And so um, it's only 10 o'clock. Train's not until 11:20. The train doesn't board until like 10 minutes before it departs, sometimes like five minutes. So, still got an hour. So that's a pretty good uh, window. I'm not gonna have to rush too much this time around. Which is pretty nice. And uh, there's, uh, I think this is the Times Square building over here. Um, there was something I wanted from Muji, maybe I'll pop it. Yeah, so on second thought, I guess I won't pop it in there. Hey, I'm on the train. And um, there's not much to see out here. It's all uh, mist. Um, there's some trees. There's some trees on that side. But that's not what this we're about. What we're about right now is the fact that I got my camera bag. They put it in a plastic bag. That's good. I wonder if there's somewhere that I can set this camera to record. Yep, this is a bad idea. This isn't gonna work. <laughs> oh, how about here? It worked out pretty well. Get a pop drop. Here we are, back in business. The Ishika Mat 124. You do this little thing and they see how it zooms there. The little thing moves it in and out. That's pretty cool. And we've got the this one controls the aperture right here, and this controls the shutter speed, which you are in these little dials up here. And when I open the top, the little light meter here comes to life, and that's this little thing right here, that's the light meter up there. And, um, and then you shoot your photos by looking through this thing, which is pretty cool. It's actually a lot of fun to do. Um, it's, uh, different than looking through a prism like on my digital camera or looking at some sort of screen it's, so it's like it's nice to be able to see the image optically on like a very big screen and I feel like maybe the next step for me photo wise is an even bigger um, camera like a uh, 4x5 or a uh, 8x10 film camera because I think I would like that a lot Anyway, um, seems like it's working again. So, uh, I guess we'll give the shutter a try here and see what happens. Oh, maybe it won't cock if there's no um, film in it. They clicked. That's good. So, let's try one more time. Yep. It's back to my. It's nice to have a simple, simple machine that works. Um, this thing is dangerous. This little thing that has something to do with flashes that people don't use anymore. And the self-timer 
is dangerous and so I won't be using the self timer anymore. I'm going to get a little cable release to plug in here and anytime that I want to do like a longer exposure, I'm just gonna press a little button instead of trusting this wacky mechanical danger zone. And uh, so that's that for this. I'm gonna put it back away and uh, maybe I'll fall asleep on this table since I haven't slept so long.